One of the most powerful methods in data visualization is called the small multiples. Uh, this is something that is not available in native Power BI, but the Zebra BI charts visual does a perfect job in rendering small multiples. This is extremely important in building dashboards and reports. So let's dive into the topic. Let me show you how you can create the small multiples with Zebra BI. Let's start with, with some basic examples. This is my first small multiple here. Um, what is a small multiple? A small multiple is simply uh, several charts, multiple charts repeated multiple times in one single visual, but in a special way, all of the charts are scaled, meaning the y-axis of all the charts is synchronized. That's why an end user can simply visually compare the height and the importance of each data element as well as, for example, the time trends at the same time. So you have, if I have several business units, I understand how important they are and what is the actual growth of each business unit compared to all the other business units. Or in other words, you see all of your business at the same time in just one single visual. All right, so how do you create a small multiple in Zebra BI? The task is very simple. Let me redu reduce this. So this will be just one single chart, one big chart on one report page. So you simply take your data field. In my case, it's going to be groups of business units and you drag it into the group placeholder that Zebra BI offers. Just drop this here and voila, the small multiple is created completely automatically by Zebra BI and it's responsive. So if you make the whole visual smaller, the Zebra BI will recalculate the space and while you are moving, it'll adapt the space to fit uh, all the chart uh, to, the, to the height and the width of the visual available on your report page or on the mobile display and so on. So if I make this bigger, I will simply get a matrix with more columns. All right, so this is a small multiple created from column charts. Now, the beautiful thing with the Zebra BI charts visual is that it has the chart slider, so you can change the, the, the charts by simply clicking on the slider. So now I have a small multiple created from line charts or area charts or pin charts, even waterfall charts, and so on. Okay, so um, these are the most basic charts available in the Zebra BI visual. But of course, this is not the end. This is just the beginning of the story. Well, first, in a small multiple, uh, there are a couple of special functions in a small multiple. Number one, when you see all of the charts, and inevitably some of the charts will be smaller, meaning now you can go with your mouse over a small data category. And when you click on the title, on the name of the category, this chart will be zoomed so you can observe the details and then just click once more to close this pop-up window. So this is a special function available in the Zebra BI charts visual. Now let's move on to more um, advanced charts. First of all, let's create uh, a small multiple uh, from variance charts. At the moment, I have my actual sales, for example, in my values placeholders. So if I bring in also the, uh, the measure for the previous year, uh, my charts have changed and this works perfectly in a, in a Zebra BI small multiple. So now I have a comparison to previous year. Um, in waterfall charts, all the charts are still scaled. And again, you can use the uh, chart slider to switch between all the different options that we have um, in terms of the variance charts. Okay, so these are now small multiples created with the variance charts or comparison charts as we also call them. Um, next, um, the challenge, all right. You will sooner or later bump into a special challenge 
uh, where some of your data categories are much bigger than the others. For example, in my case here, our business unit called Baby Care um, is much, much bigger in value than other business units. And this is a typical situation in any business, right? You will always have certain elements that bring most of the value to the company. And uh, the uh, visualization here uh, is uh, slightly um, suboptimal, let's call it that, right? So you will see that you will have a lot of empty space um, in rows and cells where other charts are presented simply because they are so much uh, smaller in their value. To compensate for that, we have some special functions that go beyond the standard small multiples. And you will find this in the group of settings called the small multiples. So there's a special group of settings to control the layout of small multiples. All right, first of all, in a case like this, where you have very different sizes of charts, try the auto layout. So this is an automatic layout where Zebra BI will decide and split certain rows in a small multiple uh, to fit more charts, more charts in the same space. So you can either in this way uh, display more charts or if you have less charts, they will be bigger and much more legible. Right? So this is a really good option to try whenever you have the situation where one chart is much bigger than the others, for example. Okay, moving on to the next special feature of the Zebra BI small multiples. So now I have a small multiple. Again, as you see, it has the layout here in the small multiples group of settings. The layout is already switched to auto. That's why my two next charts are split here into two rows, two cells, okay? But now I also have a lot of smaller charts that are increasingly less important towards the end, right? So in certain situations, especially if you have a lot of elements, like for example, if you would have 100 elements, it probably does not make sense to just draw all 100 charts. They will become increasingly smaller. They will be, uh, the user will have to scroll down to get to them and so on. So in this situation, we have another setting here called, simply called the top N. All right, what does it do? So if you switch the top N items to on, you can simply now control how many charts are actually displayed in a small multiple, but for all the other charts, for all the rest of the value, uh, the Zebra BI will automatically calculate this others category and we, it will display it as an additional chart. So now I'm focusing on my top nine, for example, business units, and all the rest is um, summed up or aggregated into this, uh, this others category. Um, this method is um, good because it will focus the attention of your end users uh, to the data categories that are actually important, where the big changes happen and, and so on, right? So this is quite important uh, that you focus the user's attention to the elements that are really important and just, you know, hide or aggregate uh, all the other unimportant or much, much, much less important stuff, right? So the top end function uh, available here. So you can uh, change the uh, number of items simply by clicking on this uh, numeric up down option. So this is a uh, even more simplified display where only top six charts are displayed. Everything else is in the others category. All right, moving on. <laughs> the small multiples work with the Zebra BI combination charts or combo charts as they are also called. So this is already an example. How do you create something like that? Okay, let me remove this field. So I'm back to a simple, to my simple charts with the sales. Now I will add a gross profit in percent. So a completely different measure. I will drop it in the values placeholder 
Okay, so now I have two measures in my values placeholder and the second measure in my values placeholder, which is the gross profit margin, is visualized on the secondary axis in the charts. Okay, and thus I have created the combination chart and um, because I have my groups in my, the groups placeholder, this is now a small multiple of combination charts. Okay, so this also works in small multiples. And uh, yeah, there are different options. You can combine line charts with, you know, the secondary chart or area charts or even pin charts with the secondary option and uh, even waterfall charts, right? So uh, there, there are full options to display combination or combo charts in small multiples. Okay, now we are moving into slightly more advanced scenarios. Okay, again, I have a small multiple here. This time, uh, the charts in the small multiple display actuals versus plan or versus previous year and also the forecast for the rest of year. So these are the segmented charts or charts with forecasts uh, also of course available in a Zebra BI small multiples. So how do you do that? You can simply bring your forecast or estimation um, or a similar measure into the forecast placeholder. So let me do this again. So this would be a chart without a forecast. Now I'll just simply bring the forecast in and I have uh, a small multiple with charts for four different business units, for example, including the forecasts. Okay, this again works with several chart types like this uh, or simple line charts like this. Um, a, good idea, uh, a good idea to use area or line charts would be perhaps uh, when you display the year-to-date values. Um, so then the line chart is maybe very, very clean or the area chart also works nicely in this particular example here. Okay, the uh, next option of our small multiples are the charts with vertical axes. So also the charts with vertical axes, they work with the Zebra BI um, small multiples function. Okay, how do you create something like this? Uh, you will find a setting called show vertical charts in the chart settings. Okay, so by default, all the charts in the Zebra BI charts visual have the axis that is horizontal. So the, the, the X axis is horizontal. Um, basically, you use horizontal axis for time series like monthly data, time series or annually, quarterly and so on. But sometimes you need to turn your charts around for 90 degrees. So in my case, in this case, just simply turn on the option called the show vertical charts. So now the uh, um, axis of the chart is vertical and now you've got a small multiple with vertical charts. All right, so um, again, you have a couple of options here. So this would be the um, waterfall, vertical waterfall chart and um, the next one would be the integrated variance chart uh, in a small multiple, uh, vertically oriented with a vertical axis, right? So uh, again, vertical charts with vertical axis also work with the small multiples. Okay, um, these, were, these were, I would say, um, most of the Zebra BI charts illustrated in small multiples. Now a couple of um, tips when you will start working with small multiples. Um, tip number one, by default, the charts in a small multiple uh, are sorted descending by value. So automatically you will get the biggest chart uh, as the first one and then the second biggest one and so on, which works in most of the cases and that's why this is the default in Zebra BI. However, there are situations where you simply need to change the order of the charts and you will find this setting again in the small multiples group of settings under the sort. So by default, it would be descending, 
which in my case is uh, now the same, right? Just because the revenue is always is, is bigger than the costs in my example, and then the gross profit is the smallest one. But in this particular case, you, you would actually need to change this to the original order. The original order means that the Zebra BI will take your, the order of your elements from your Power BI model. Okay, so this could be alphabetical um, order, it could be a geographical order, or in cases like this one, a specific custom sort order uh, where you want, for example, your accounts, um, you know, uh, to be sorted from gross revenue and then COX and then net revenue and, uh, you know, the OPEX costs and, and um, uh, operational expenses, operational income, and so on. You want this order, you set it up in your Power BI model, and then simply switch the sort here to the original order. Okay, uh, there are a couple of more set, uh, settings here. So you can show the grid between charts. Sometimes this is, you know, nice just to, to, to visually separate the charts. Uh, if you have the, the grid turned on, then you can also select the color of the grid, so you can make it very colorful if you want, but um, I actually recommend using very uh, discreet and uh, um, not so strong colors for, you know, additional elements like grids and, and, and things like that. Um, and the uh, top N. All right, let's uh, wrap this up uh, with two more advanced layouts, namely, um, the small multiples in Zebra BI Charts Visual support all the layouts that uh, come with the Zebra BI Charts Visual. For example, in my case here, I have a special layout in my variance chart that shows the base values at the bottom, and then there's a separate uh, red and green chart that displays the absolute variance to plan uh, as a separate chart, okay? This, this is what we call the extended chart. And as you see, it actually works in the Zebra BI for small multiples, right? So Zebra BI small multiples can actually repeat two charts at the same time for different uh, data elements, right? And uh, how do you do that? Simply by uh, affecting the setting called layout in the chart settings. All right, so this is now the setting of each individual chart, which is by default always set to the responsive mode. So in the responsive mode, you would have this integrated um, uh, variance chart here. But in this case, uh, this is the case where, where you have columns, right? Uh, you can actually switch, you, you can just show the absolute variance or you can display the absolute and relative variance. So, all right, now I'm already displaying several charts, two charts, repeating them. Or uh, many times this would be interesting. So having the base values here um, at the bottom. So this is my actual sales and then the previous year behind it, right? And on top of that, I have my relative variance. Okay, you can do the same with the absolute variance and so on. All right, um, this can go on. For example, this was a comparison to previous year. You can actually bring in the plan. If you want to make it even more complex, right, you can even have this. So now I have a base chart uh, in my small multiples. The comparison to previous year and the plan at the same time in this chart, and then a separate variance chart to display the variance to previous year, and then a separate um, variance chart uh, to display the variance to plan. And all of these charts are scaled within one box and also across the whole visual. So even if there's a lot of information, um, the, the exact importance of each variance and the exact importance of each uh, absolute value that is depicted here um, is rendered in proper scale uh, so the end user will understand how important is it. Okay, 
to conclude, uh, you can do the same, compare several scenarios with um, in area charts or line charts. So I do invite you to create small multiples, uh, start with, you know, two or three charts and then go bold and, and try, try it with 20 charts um, and use the auto uh, layout uh, whenever uh, it fits um, your, your data set and try the top end options and also explore the design options. Uh, there are more ideas in the article um, in, in the description below and I invite you to try this and also read the article and download the PBIX example where all of these examples are created uh, so you can just study how it's done.